What's poppin' my peeps? How's it going? Another episode of the Monday Challenge. Today's gonna be an interesting one. We're gonna be vlogging in the woods at night, but we can only use one light. It's this uh, Quasar battery LED, little Q LED thing, my bob, that I just got for Christmas. Out here with my buddy Matt. Dude, you're all bundled up. You got like jackets on jackets on jackets. Ooh, what is I found it? you one glove. Ooh, thank you. Just one. I got Uno. The Monday Challenge. Let's get it going. Close the door all the way. This thing is wicked bright. I have no idea how long the battery's gonna last at all. I can't even see in front of me, it's so bright. No idea how long the battery's actually gonna last because this is actually the uh, the first time I've used this. It's got a full charge. I gotta I gotta show you guys real quick what this setup looks like right now because it's pretty ridiculous. Look at it's so bright you can't even you can't even see, but there's like an articulating arm right there. Light is attached to it with the camera on the small rig cage. Super dope. You might want to just stay like either in the middle or on the side. Cause this. You gotta watch out for oh. that. Yeah. Just stay in the middle or like on the side. On the side side. You got it. Both Matt and I have very low battery on our phones, so if this light dies, uh, we're screwed. Made it to like uh, this empty field. This is the this is the first for me. Running around in the woods at night. Well, not not. I mean. I guess this is a first for me as far as like taking photos out in the woods. I mean, as a kid, I used to run around in the woods all the time at night. Manhunt. Remember? You ever play oh, Manhunt? Yeah, Whoo! That's a banging game. A little A7 III action. Is that? That's a new lens, right? Yeah, this is. What is it? The 50. It's the 518. Bing bang boom. Can we camp out here? Dude, we're literally in the middle of a field right now. Wow, this field is massive. I gotta do this more often. I gotta do this way more often. Go run out in the woods in the middle of the night, take photos, and shoot some video. Uh, I'm trying to find a. Can't find the trail we're looking for right now. We should keep that field in our sights, though, so we don't get like lost. This isn't the wisest thing to do. No, definitely not. <laughs> You're stuck. Is there like a wide opening somewhere? And There's a pretty decent sized opening. Are you sure we walked down far enough? Oh yeah, this looks like a path. A creepy path, but this is it! Yeah. Definitely don't do this alone. Bring somebody with you if you're gonna do this. Is it a river? Bridge. Wow, it's muddy. Might be cool to do something right there. Yeah. Stars. Next time we're gonna do those really long star trails. Yeah. So. Like the like the light streaks with the stars and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be sick. I'll need some coffee for that one though. Oh yeah, we gotta bring coffee. Super awesome though. Like yeah, hanging out great. under the stars and just taking some long exposure photos. It's like that. What? I almost fell asleep. Did you hear that? Did you just hear that? Yeah, a little squeak. No. <laughs> well, yep. <laughs> Here, girl. Here, girl. You pop, pop, pop. Very impressed with this light. It's, I don't even think we've used half the battery. And even how long have we been out here? We've been out here for two hours. Two hours, at least two hours. And the thing's been on about, I'd probably say like 70% of the time. Been looking through the footage and photos and everything that we got, and I gotta say that this was a really fun exercise. Just going out in the woods, vlogging, taking photos. The only really, I guess the only real plan that we had was to do that. Just go out in the woods in the middle of the night with this one light and, and go out and shoot and see what we can get. You know, I took a bunch of photos and I really only like one photo that I took that entire night. And I actually really like it. I think it was an awesome photo. Learning more about night photography and astrology photography and, and trying these sort of things 
it just kind of opens your eyes a little bit and, and gets those gears kind of grinding. Super fun, had an absolute blast, and this is something that we're definitely going to do again, especially because Matt and I go camping a lot. Definitely want to try and do some more astrology photography. I want to do like that really long exposure where the stars give off that light streak, and I just want to get some more time lapses of night skies and all that stuff, because I think that stuff's cool. I think it's awesome. Regardless if it comes out good or not, chances are it's probably not going to come out that great, because this is kind of my first time doing this. Just the fact of going out there and, and trying to do something. So that was kind of this challenge was, let's just go out there and shoot in the woods at night. Like, let's just do that and see what we can do. Sometimes these challenges are going to be over the top, and sometimes they're just going to be simple, a little simple exercise to kind of get those gears turning, you know? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, smash that keyboard, subscribe if you aren't already, ring that bell, and stay hungry. Peace. And... ra da dee la da da la da dee la da dee la da da la da dee